Morning. Hello. We all feel a bit sorry for Sham. We're out for the day today. Joshua has a lot of appointments at um, hospital and different centres he goes to. There's a lot, so we've come out for the day pretty much. Because in between appointments, where are we going to go? To church. No. Scotland. Take me to church. No. Um, we're going to a park. But you said we're going to school. Not that one. I never said that one. Right, we're going to the park in between these appointments and then the next ones we're going shopping because some people need some shoes and I, need I just shoes need shoes shampoo back on my phone. Yeah, that's not going to happen though, so buy some more. We could go shopping and get a picnic. Yes, what a good idea. But poor Shannon has the horrible job of dropping off. Well, I had the horrible job. Joshua needed a stool sample send in here. So I gathered that this morning and because there isn't a car park here and I'm the only driver if she could drive mm -hmm. so really. but um, she's had to run in with a sample which she's not happy about but yeah I was the collector of the sample hey Josh hmm. hey Joshy. so she doesn't even know where she's going I don't think so right, we're ready for some appointments, are we baby? You've just woke up all stunned. Cutie? Yay! Hello cutie. <laughs> Bethany. Oh, I hope she comes soon because we need to be at the other centre to see his paediatrician in 10 minutes. Poor Shan, I do feel sorry for her. Sorry Shan. I'm sorry. Here we are. Wet head there, his back of his head's really sweaty. Go for it, Dan. A guinea pig? That's not nice. No, like George used to smell. That's nice. It was a hamster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, then he smells like a hamster. Okay, I'll take him and you two can go have fun. No. Okay, Dan. Go, Dan. I'm not playing in this place. Too many people doing things. You've just come to hold Ethan. We're here for fun. Shannon and Bear are still eating in the car. Enjoying the sunshine, we've got a sunny day. I thought most of the kids were back at school, must be next week. Annoying kids. Annoying kids. <laughs> yeah. Why is Lolly doing all the work? Oh, you're not that tall, are you? What's going on? Someone needs professional help. Is it you? Oh, wow. Got a cat. Wow, that smells chocolatey. Okay, where's the other two? Down below. Let's put some Charlotte Church on and make brownies. Wow, I knew I'd taken over the office. Dad, they fixed my computer. What, where are they going to bring it? Dad's getting it tomorrow, I think. Do you know what was wrong with it? My computer was broke. Well, it wouldn't turn on. It was dust. Terrible. The cause of the problem, Daniel, was it needed dusting. It's because it's under my desk there all the time and the kids shove stuff on it. So, yeah, it's bad. Just needed a dust. Right, let's go see what that Bethany's up to. Josh has gone to bed now. I like to put more in then paper. Who doesn't? Uh, cupboard. 
Okay, let's see. Oh no. Joshua stinks. Ugh. I'm gonna have to wake him up and do his nappy now. Okay. We'll go do that, eh, baby? Well, you won't. I'll have to hand you over to Daddy. Oh! Should I hand you over to Dad? I've got ironing on his bed. It's terrible. So, today was tiring. After the clinic visit and then the hospital visit, playing at the park, and then we went shopping. And as much as I love going shopping with my girls, I really do enjoy it. I do not love taking the boys along. These boys, not shopping fans, eh? Hey? Daniel was tired out. Joshua was pulling everything off every rail he could reach. But the girls got some things they needed. I got a couple of tops and they had fun. And now it looks like the baking. But Joshua's visits, we didn't get much from it. He's now having more blood tests, more tests for different things. He's on a dairy-free diet for the next four weeks. And we'll see if that brings up anything. And then um, he's being tested for growth hormone because they think he could possibly not produce enough growth hormone. So we'll see. Ow! Somebody's biting me. We'll see if that could be the problem. If it is, that's actually probably good because we need a solution for his growth problem. Because this one's going to pass him very soon, aren't you? Well done. Bethany looked after Ephraim for me. It's always entertaining in Bethany's room. I love it. Right, so we're off for the night. I'll go see what they end up making. They've got loads of chocolatey mixtures. Hello. Goodbye then. Oh, Say goodbye everyone. Baby. My baby! Hey! No wish! Goodbye you two. <gasps> Say goodbye to Mama. Oh, Say baby. Hi. Right, we'll see you next time. Shan and Dad are on oh, tough mother training. Finally going out for one. Training the week before the project. Yeah. Oh I like that. Pretty. <laughs> I don't think it's meant to be pretty. <laughs> that is pretty. There's the dedicated runners a week before. Yeah, it's uh -huh. gonna do well. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. Ah. Have you come back alive, Mum? Yeah, we feel good now. We beat us time by three and a half seconds, so we're good. Okay, so it is. What is it? What is it? Hey. I know it's the third. Yes, it's Thursday. It's Thursday. Um, first of the morning. And um, yeah, we realised we didn't actually vlog this. So. The cookie dough found this. Look, you know, we did actually vlog what we actually looked like. Yeah. We just showed us this. So. I'm just reminded me. This is what it ended up looking like. Just peeing, yeah. isn't it? You just can't do it from this angle because some fell off here. Hello, Judy. This little boy, no matter how much I cut his nails, he manages to scratch himself. Oh, poor baby. He did this one two days ago, so I cut them again. And then he did this one this He's morning. He's scratching your face to pieces and you've got something in now. your hair. There you go. Yes, you did. You had something in your hair, baby. Mom, don't snap scissors at the baby. Hi. You're going to end up cutting your hair off. <laughs> What's she doing? She's Oh, that she's getting the toy. <laughs> you want to get a toy? What toys do you want this morning? Yeah, good idea. Go get your brick. Oh, no. Stephanie hasn't hoovered in here. Let's get her to hoover. We'll move everything. Hoover up. Mummy, I'm going to sneeze. <gasps> Where's the penguins? Where's the penguins? Oh, where's the penguins? Oh, and you 
find them. You is this that you just like to play with your baby? Your baby. Everyone calls him their baby. My baby. My baby in My baby. Whose baby is it? Lolly. Yeah, thank you, Jesse. Is he from Mummy's baby? No. Whose baby is it? Joshua doesn't like him being my baby. He looks more like me, therefore. He does well, look like you. Because he, he eats a lot like me. Huh? Yes, that is true. I win. He doesn't even eat food, you're right. He doesn't <laughs> even eat food. You don't even eat food, baby. Mm, I'm right, baby, Josh, he says so. Since <laughs> yeah. Josh. Since he said that he wants my baby and I can have my phone. No. You can't eat food now. We were told yesterday, his dietitian said that a lot of babies with, well, babies, he's not a baby, he's Josh. four, yeah, I'm going to do Joshua's okay. dietitian said a lot of kids with food problems, because he's got a food addiction, uh, are premature kids, and that they often go the other way and don't want to eat, and they find it hard to eat. I always like to push it back so they can't get it and I'm like, no! <laughs> but Joshua was addicted to food and she said it could possibly be either from when he was in his mum's womb, um, you know, or... Michael. Or in NICU, yeah. <sighs> Completely lost in my train of thought there Michael. thinking about what post was. Oh, right, yeah, so it could be when he was in utero or it could be in NICU that he developed his brain just became that way because he was starved of food. Daddy, it's not food. It's not food. It's all he spoke it's about. It's not food. The dietitian didn't understand the addiction until that's all he discussed during the visit. Any toy she gave him, he related it to food. Yeah? We'll shut up about it now, eh? Should we get toys instead? No. Say, hoover up, Beth. No. <laughs> oh, you two are both in stripes. No. Any from stripy socks and my stripy bag. We've got stripes everywhere. Where's my stripy shoes? Right, we've got to hoover up so this boy can get his... Oh, he doesn't want to get toys. Do you want to Playing. Guess who's back early? So Michael took Shannon out on a run again, training for Tough Mudder, and Bethany decided to go along. But Bethany doesn't run very often. Yeah, and she got how far? At the end of the carriage. <coughs> the end of the Oh right, okay. She, she didn't get very far, and she threw up. Much. Quite a few times. I kept running, trying to. You <laughs> can't do one after you've thrown up. Oh. So have they just brought you back? Um, Shan ran the other way back and then he ran that way and then me. Shan got here before and started letting go. <laughs> She's that way around grass. Yeah, he's just took her again. Oh, darling. Oh, well, you need to run more. Yeah. You practice it. That well, doesn't mean you don't run now. That means you need to go more. Okay. Oh, oh no. I put the water on for a bath. I feel really bad. Cookie's fine. Oh. Oh, that's what I, I do. You're cute. You ready? Are you ready? No. no. It's Friday morning and we've got some fishermen and women. I can't see in the sun. Joshua went and put his shoes on to go fishing, didn't you? So Daniel and Lauren are going fishing with Grandad any time now? Well, in half an hour or so. They're just getting ready. Yeah, well, they're putting them off wellies. Yeah, you've got your new wellies on. And have you got... Where's all my old one? Uh, they'll be in the cupboard. Are you saving them for your brothers? 
So they're off fishing for the morning. And they've got a packed lunch ready, everything done. This is a private chair. Okay, I'll just I'll keep quiet. <laughs> Josh, where have you put your book? You put it in the bin? Oh. I just gave him a book to read and he put it in the bin. Okay, we need a chat. <laughs> About... You like chats? Oh, good. We're ready. Ready? Yeah. Right, seeing as Beth gone, collapsed with running, we're going on a long walk. So this is my workout for today. Hey you runner. Proper mummy style. We're taking the push chairs and we're off walking. Going to do a fast walk with these babies and that's going to be our workout, yeah? Yeah. We're running! <laughs> Are you getting shoes? It's in his push chair. Yeah, but we might have get cold feet. You're doing well, you didn't throw it once, Beth. Yay! And it's put Ethan to sleep. Have you had some nice fresh air? Yeah? You want, you know. So we did a 20 minute fast walk. No, one minute. There's a one minute where it counts. 20. 21 minutes. We can't let that minute that go minute on. That minute almost killed me. <laughs> it did, you ran the last minute. Okay, that's a bit better than running, isn't it? A bottle of milk. <laughs> I think I want water. You want milk? You're actually on a milk free diet for the next the best thing ever. Right, well, Ephraim's asleep. The other two little ones will probably be back from fishing soon, so I need to think about lunch, yes, Josh? I need to make some lunch, yeah? Fishing? She's been fishing. You want sweets? What did you catch, Dan? Dan, uh, Daniel caught a snake. I, me and Dan both caught a snake, and then Dan caught a people. Eel. Eel. So, yeah. It, a snake is an eel, Daniel calls them snakes, but what did he do when he caught it? He caught the eel, so they looked at him and went, snake and ran off. It was a snake, was it? Yeah. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Right, are you back hungry are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, you've just had your sandwich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'd like a banana? <laughs> In his lunch There's a few flapjacks left in his lunch. Oh, and some grapes left. Mm. I want some drink. You get a drink. Oh, I thought I'd taken a picture of you then. <laughs> We're filming you. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> it's Saturday evening. Is it evening now? It is. Yeah, you can't say that. This is Friday's vlog. <laughs> and this is Friday's vlog that Shannon neglected to put up last night. She was out partying. Yeah. Shannon I feel was like out. I got too much red lipstick on. She travelled, her dad took her over to Liverpool for an FSY reunion dance. Yeah? This baby's after this camera. So she never got the vlog up Friday, so it's most likely going to go up. Are you going to have it up tonight? It's going up Saturday and it's from a few days so it's <laughs> a mishmash of vlog um, so it's Saturday evening Shannon's had a friend stay over she came back with her last night so she's been busy with a friend all day hey hasn't been playing with you has she uh -huh, I, I still saw baby oh but Shannon forgot to say something on the vlog the other day so this does contain footage of when we went to the hospital and took Josh for his appointments. Something happened to her then. She told us of this experience afterwards. She said when she got in the car, she was like, I don't know what's just happened. <laughs> so she's going to have to tell you. You've just made out as if it's a really big thing now. And it's not a really big thing. All right, forget that. Something I did happened. say my experience, but... It's just a small experience. <laughs> okay, it's just one that she's never been through before, but to be honest, <laughs> neither have I. 
I don't really know if anyone of anyone who has. If anyone's been through this before. <laughs> right. Tell of your experience while I go get ready for bath. Okay. Do you want to stay and listen, Ephraim? So this is my experience, and Ephraim's listening carefully. So Wednesday, we turned up at the hospital. Mum needs to drop off a sample for Josh, and then then we're gonna leave, right? So she's looking for a park. She finds this disabled kit her park space. So she's like, well, I cannot possibly leave the car here. Now I will get fined if I leave the car here. So you'll have to take it, and I'll be like. I don't, I don't know where I'm going, you know, I don't know the way, and she's like, I don't know the way, and I was like, oh, so you don't even know where to tell me where to go, and she's like, no, I don't know the way, but if you take this sample and go in that general direction, then you'll find the way, and I was like, mum, I really, I don't know my way around, I haven't been here before, and I don't know where I'm going, or what is even happening, you know, and she's like, well, you're going to have to go, I'll get fined if I stay here. I'll have to move if someone comes and then she's like so then she's like you know if I'm not here when you come out I'll be back and I was like I don't even know if I'm ever coming out of this place it's like a flipping me so I go in I'm obedient I go in I'm walking along and I get sent to a reception desk like no, no, no. we don't want it here yeah. and so I get sent to all these different reception desks I'm in there for ages I'm trying to remember the way that I've come so I can get back uh, I'm struggling to remember my way back after going through this maze and then I'm at this one reception desk and this old woman greets me she opens the little window and she looks about 90 and um, she's like right if you go straight down this corridor and then turn left it's on and just as she was about to say the next sentence out fell her false teeth um, and I couldn't quite believe what just happened and I was looking at her and she just went it's on the right hand side and I just went thank you and I walked off and I just, just fell out she fell straight out of my mouth she didn't, she didn't even acknowledge that it happened <laughs> so that was that was my experience here um, her false teeth fell out and then I finally got to the desk and they wouldn't even take the sample, they were like, no, you, you need an A4 form. And I was like, I don't have an A4 form. So I rang up my mum and she was like, I was never given an A4 form. So I didn't even complete the task that I was sent in there to do. But I saw an old woman's false teeth fall out and I went on a walk, lost some calories, I suppose. It was a long walk. And then I finally found my way back, got in the car, threw the sample at Josh. Take this. Don't want it. I didn't really. I would throw it at him, but um, and then yeah, and then I was eat, I was as I was eating my dinner. All I could think about whoa, what's her false teeth falling out? Ify's just been sick all over me. Wow, Ify, that was a lot. Oh dear, little man. Right. Well, I'm I'm soaking wet. I feel like he went on the floor as well. No, did it stop? Oh, yeah, it's on my foot. It's on my foot. Right, okay. Well, I'm gonna go now and sort this out. You're a little baby. Okay, so thanks for watching. I will get this video up tonight, probably. Um, and please like and comment and subscribe. Please. Please subscribe. Please. Please. Everyone out.